guys this I'm back with my favorites for the summer 2013 I have a quite a few products I want to share with you that I've been loving this summer can't believe like we're two months away from fall but anyway it's been hot here and I just thought it would be fun to do a like, summer favorites instead of a monthly favorite so the first thing I want to talk about is my foundation um this is a tester of um YSL Touche Clot foundation is in the num um, number 80 I really like it but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on foundation this is like $55 but um, a little bit goes a long way so L'Oreal Paris makes a lot of high-end makeup like Giorgio Armani YSL um, can't think of the other companies but anyway so whenever they bring out the affordable drugstore version I always get it this is L'Oreal True Match Lumi and it's for healthy luminous makeup and it has a sunscreen of SPF 20 and I think this one is um the YSL it has an SPF of 15 if I'm not mistaken but this is like ten dollars at Target versus 55 for a full this is a sample size so for full size it's like $55 so you can't beat that and I'm the color C789 brown cocoa and this one is more brown like because this is cool it doesn't have that much red and my skin I have red tones in it so I mix the two I do one pump of this with about a little bit um like one or two drops of this foundation the true match does not have a wide selection of colors and the Touche Clot does so but anyway these two together make the perfect combination and maybe L'Oreal will make more colors. I'm hoping they will because then I can mix the two for my perfect foundation. That's what I have on today. And this is like a, gives you a glow. And I really, honestly, I like the consistency of the True Match Lumi better because it just melts into your skin. This one does too, but I know something about this one. It just feels velvety when you put it in. But it, I think it's supposed to, um, like if you read the information online, it's supposed to make you have better skin. So... I like it and I hope um, if you have oily or combination skin this you may not like this foundation because it gives that glow but I just powder down throughout the day and I'm fine I just I really like the consistency and the formulation of this it doesn't really make you um, look like you have a lot of makeup on it looks now you know I love this Queen um, collection CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer I think it's called yeah Ebony Bronzer it's in the queen collection and it's awesome i love it i use it more as i use it a lot more in the summertime because i'll use this as my blush i have it on today mixed with another blush but i really love the color of this and it has a little bit of sparkle but it doesn't um it has a little bit of sparkle you can see it a little bit in the pan and it doesn't really do that much um leaves a lot of sparkle on your skin but it's just a beautiful color i really like it and i'm about to hit pan on it because when i touch that part it's like kind of thin the next item i want to talk about and i think i mentioned this maybe in my last favorites is the mac um temperature rising blush in hot nights it is gorgeous perfect for summer it's highly pigmented so i really love this blush i mix these two a lot together this is the Bombs Mary Lou Manizer. It's <laughs> a tongue twister. Say that three times fast. But it's a gorgeous, you know I love my Kevin Aquan candlelight, but it's a gorgeous highlight and it's like beautiful velvet consistency, highly pigmented. It's, I thought at first it was going to be like um, NARS Albatross, but it's not. It's more white. So you need a, like the slightest, lightest hand when applying this because the first day I was like, and I just touched it and like swiped it it was like a big skunk stripe of highlight and I was like oh no but um it's beautiful it has a beautiful sheen to it so I really love that so keeping with makeup and this one is I love this one my mom bought it for me and it's max naked lunch it's beautiful I really love this colors um provides the per brow highlight um Cupid's bow, uh, even you can use it on the planes of your cheeks, and um, inner corner highlight. I use it the most for inner corner highlight and for brow highlight. I love it. It's a gorgeous color. And it is a frost. So, yeah, that's that. But I mean, it blends out really nice.
really can't, I mean, it's not going to swatch well on me because I'm dark skinned, but I really love it. It looks beautiful on the face. And then, I don't think I've talked about this, but I really like this for summer, like when you're going out. And this um, Max Press Pigment and Sweet Acting is really pretty. Although the press, the press pigments aren't pretty in, in pan format, but when you use them, I usually um, spray it with my MAC Fix Plus and then, you know, put my brush into the pigment. And it's just beautiful, and I just press, press it on my eyelid, and it's just a gorgeous pink. It's beautiful. So I should have bought tissue in here for... See, look at that glitter. I love that. Um, color of that. It's gorgeous. It's like iridescent glitter on top of the pink. It's very pretty. So, I also, like, I don't think I ever not buy L'Oreal mascaras. And I really love the uh, Voluminous Million Lashes. And this for summertime and the waterproof version is a must. I wish they made it in carbon black. I think this is the blackest black. I love carbon black more, but. I love this for summertime. Been using that a lot. I've been using Mac Soft Focus. It's a highlighting powder to put underneath my um, under eye concealer to set it. It kind of reminds me of Ben Nye Banana Powder. It's just like a yellow powder, so and it's just a use for a highlight. Even if you don't want to use it underneath the eye, you use it um, right here on the hot plains of your cheeks, and it's really good. It's very finely milled. So I think it's like easier to apply than sometimes with the banana powder, especially if you're in a really big hurry. So I like using that. The next thing I want to talk about is um, SPF sunscreen. This is Sun Bum. It's so cute. I got it at Ulta and it's a stick form. So I just use it before I get in the car to apply to my arms and um, anywhere that my um, skin is exposed to the sun because like I drive with the windows down. So um, I use it like this and it's easy to apply and it smells like coconut. It smells so good and it's really good for kids too, especially getting their faces because my children hate um, when I put sunscreen on. This is like zoop, zoop, zoop and you're done. So um, I really like that and it is SPF 30 and it's water resistant up to 80 minutes. So I think this is perfect for a beach day. Okay, so I also wanted to talk about um, another time. Daily Badger Broad Spectrum SPF um with zinc sunscreen lotion and I really like this for daily activities like well mostly on the weekends like when I'm out in the sun a lot um, doing yard work or walking outside with Ruby because um, it has zinc in it so like that's like an extra barrier for the sun and you can tell where you've missed apply because with this having zinc in it it's like has a hue to it you know when you're rubbing it in it's like bluish purple so I really like that got this item but oh my god guys I guys I love this it's the Anastasia Bra Wiz in medium ash I have it on today and I use it as a double ended pen or stick and eyebrow pen and this is the brow pen right there it's very um I love it because it's thin and it's easy to apply like your brow with it or define your brow so I really like this. You can buy the Ulta or Sephora and then this. And I really like the spoolie on that. It is small, but it gets every little hair. So I love this. I usually use Wet n Wild <laughs> eyebrow pencils or Mary Kay eyebrow pencils to trace underneath. And then I use um, this pencil to define my bra and fill it in. So I really like this one. In the color medium um, ash. I think that's what I said. Yeah, medium ash is awesome. Brighten up face rejuvenator. I think this is you like have to use some kind of scrub. Mask are essential, especially in the summertime when you're out in the sun and you're getting sweaty and stuff, to remove the dirt and like exfoliate older skin off of your face so that new fresh skin can come. Um, so I think these are great. And this one has papaya, micro crystals, and aloe in it. And I really like this. I got this in a brush box, so I probably will try to find out where I can get it because I, I mean the crystals are really good I really love them they're abrasive but not too abrasive so oh and I wanted to also say that I love I guess I'm going into lip products and then I do my brushes for the
summer that I like. And this is Badger Creamy Cocoa Butter Lip Balm. I love this. I use this mostly at night, sometimes in the morning to um, moisturize my lips while I do my makeup. But I really like it at night. It's awesome. I love anything with cocoa butter in it. I want to talk about pencils. So this one is Max Beat Lip Pencil. I really like this. It's a beautiful color. It's gorgeous. Oh, I mean, you could do your whole lip with that. It's just beautiful. It's like a cherry. I don't know how to describe this. Probably like a cherry blue tone purplish red. I don't know. But it's pretty. I love to mix it with um the these two products. It's the Maybelline. Gosh, this is so small. This is the Maybelline Raspberry Reflections Number no. 100 Lip Gloss. It is gorgeous. I think I've mentioned this before, but I've been in love with um, purplish pink tone on magenta lips. So this, I usually use um this lip gloss with Beat This Cover Girl Lip Stick in 330 Divine Divine. So, and I think this is a dupe for Max Lipstick Up the Amp. So, it's really pretty. And I use all of these together to form the most beautiful lip color. I love it. So, um, I guess I'll, I'll insert a photo here that um, with me wearing this color combination. So, that's the lipstick. Um, CoverGirl Divine Divine. And then Mac Beat lip liner and then the raspberry reflections by maybelline i really like these lip glosses they smell um i mean i love the packaging this but um color payoff is beautiful i might get another one i'm not sure i have a lot of lipstick so i love these ysl glossy stains and this one <clears throat> these go with the same colors that i've been loving all summer and these are these two this one is YSL number 16 glossy stain and I think I've they're probably kind of like well yeah this is more pinkish purple it's that one and the thing I love about these I apply them in the morning and I have lipstick on all day so this one yeah they're all slightly different this one's beautiful too I got this at the YSL counter it's the number 30 and it's that one ah! I wish I could put it on a day but I have dark eyeshadow on but I'll love these colors so pretty so that's like the lip that I've been rocking um all for the whole month of July and half of June pretty sure so the brushes that I've loved this month are these and this art uh, this brush is at Target and it's the elf blending eye brush it is awesome I love the um density of it and it's very um it's not too stiff so I really like this one. I mean, it's not a, it's a smaller version of the 217 by MAC, I would say. And then this is the Tarte. I think it's called the Airbrush Finishing Brush. One. This, I love this brush a lot. And it's perfect for creating that airbrush finish look. So I love that. I've been loving that this summer. And if you see my vlogs, you know I'm in love with this pencil. And I've never been a big fan of liquid eyeliners. But this makes it like so easy to apply liquid eyeliner. And I've been using it for the whole summer and it's perfect because it's waterproof. So I haven't used my gel eyeliner since I picked these up. But I'll be using them again in the fall. And like this is perfect. Like it has the perfect application. I think this is felt. I'm not sure. It's an extreme fine point tip. So it makes easy application for the eyeliner. And it's really black. And like I said it's waterproof. So it stays on all day long. And I have oily, <laughs> I have the most oily lids. So this stays on all day. And I really like it. And it's very precise. See, I love it. And it's really black. So this one is black as black. So again, that's the Milani. Love it. And it's always sold out at Target every time. Because that's the best place to get it. I don't think, I'm the Walmarts here don't sell Milani. So I've always get my Milani products from Target and that's the best price point for um their products and it's always sold out so I think everybody knows how good it is. Yay! The Mary Lou um shoot why can't I say that? Mary Lou brow highlight 